Hi everybody, Corey Salty True Floyd for Amerimi Media, and today I'm going to give a review on Antebellum starring Janelle Monet. I originally was going to have a written review, but it was extremely difficult to write this out without expressing so much anger and rage over the subject of the film. So I've been able to calm down my, calm down my my voice and I'll just go through the film. Antebellum is a good movie. But the subject matter itself is quite enraging. The film spoiler alert takes place in modern time and the upper echelon of a southern southern group of people have taken it upon themselves to kidnap black people bring them on to a private estate where they reenact the civil war now this is the first time slavery has been shot cinematically from a horror perspective and needless to say it almost broke me. It's not the fact that it's slavery, but it's the fact that it's shown in a very real horror, horror point of view. But what takes the cake of it all, what really takes the cake, is the fact that you find out as the film progresses that every black person that was kidnapped and put into slavery was some of our best and brightest. And it's all seen through the eyes of the main character, Veronica, played by Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet is a scholar who's recently written a book where the pro the projection the point of the book was to empower women especially women of color to break the glass ceilings set around misogyny and racism even through a lot of the scenes before the scenes prior to her kidnapping that there's still very subtle nuances of racism when it came to getting her dinner reservation and how she was being treated at the hotel what really bothers me about all of it um at the ending the ending yes she escapes and she actually kills the woman who kidnapped her in the first place but then it shows her it shows Janelle Monet's character Veronica who had a slave name of Eden but Eden but I do not want to even talk about that it I just just gets me to the core um they show her riding a horse through a simulated battlefield and slow motion till she reaches the end of a road and the cuts to black and then as the credits start to roll there's some post shots of the FBI closing in on this private land um, to, I guess, shut it all down. And it feels very lackluster to me. It feels like it kind of falls short. And I feel like that is to a great fault of the writer and directors, the writers and directors of the film, uh, Gerard Bush and Christopher Rents, who this is their first very large production. And their previous short films have been definitely along the lines of this film because they were both about racial tensions and oppression. So it just feels like they're building a career on torture porn, racial torture porn. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, lo I'm a big fan of the Saw franchise, but at least it just kind of came at everybody. This one, this one cut a little deep. It's not along the lines of Jordan Peele. It's quite beneath it, to be honest. 
the film is shot perfectly. It's great acting, but I believe I feel like the overall context. Um, this is not for the weak. It um, I I if people want to watch it, by all means. But I don't know. I don't think you could watch this at least more than twice. Um, for cinematic techniques and everything, I'm gonna give it an A. But uh, I don't know. I have to give it a C for the overall effect. That's how I feel. I'm pretty sure the comment section will be a flutter over my thoughts and views on this. And um, please feel free to chime in. This is Corey Salter Floyd for Amerimi Media. And this is my review on Antebellum. Hopefully my next review will be on a few lighter matters. Or at least not something as bleak. Peace. Hey guys, Engine Blackheart here. And if you like that video, be sure to click the like button to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you wish to stay up to date on all of Merrimay Media's content. Till then, see you in the next video.